Nikon is stepping into a bold new direction with something exciting for video creators. The upcoming Nikon ZR camera is not just another mirrorless model. It's expected to bring high-end video features and design inspired by RED, the famous cinema camera brand. This is the first time we're seeing Nikon blend RED's technology into one of its own Z-mount bodies, and it could change how many people look at Nikon for video work. The Nikon ZR will have a unique look compared to other Nikon cameras. Instead of a standard mirrorless camera shape, this one is expected to be more like a small video camera or a boxy cinema body. It won't have a built-in viewfinder, which makes sense for filmmakers who usually use external monitors anyway. This design will likely feel a lot like Sony's MFX3 or Canon's R5C, making it easier to handle in professional video setups. Another design feature that stands out is the large rear LCD screen. It will be bigger than the regular 3.2 or 3.5 inch screens we usually see on Nikon's other cameras. That means easier framing, menu navigation, and playback, especially for people who record videos on location without extra gear. The Nikon ZR is expected to come with serious video recording options. It will record in 6K at 60 frames per second using RedCode RAW format. This format is well known in the film industry for its high quality and flexibility. It will also support other formats like NRAW and ProRes, giving users a range of choices depending on what they need for their work. Another exciting feature is real-time LUT support. LUTs are used to color grade videos and being able to apply them while recording helps creators get the look they want straight out of the camera. Nikon ZR might also include some built-in red color profiles to match the style many filmmakers already know and love. At the heart of the Nikon ZR is a 24.5 megapixel partially stacked CMOS sensor. This is the same sensor used in the Nikon Z63. It offers fast readout speeds and better dynamic range. Expect around 14.5 stops of dynamic range, which is great for capturing both bright and dark parts of a scene. The camera will also have a 14-bit sensor readout, allowing for better color and detail in both video and photo modes. While the ZR won't have a mechanical shutter, this won't matter to video users. The fully electronic shutter should be fast and quiet, perfect for movie sets or events where silence is important. Because the Nikon ZR is being built for serious video creators, it's expected to have lots of ports and options. This may include full-size HDMI, headphone and mic jacks, and maybe even timecode support. All of these features help when using the camera with other professional tools on set. The body is likely to be rugged and ready for long shoots. It will probably include good cooling, either through vents or heat sinks, to prevent overheating during long video sessions. That's especially important when recording in high resolution. The Nikon ZR is expected to arrive in the last part of 2025. Many believe it could be announced sometime in quarter three and become available by quarter four. Nikon has already sent early models to professionals for testing, which means they are close to finishing the product. When it comes to price, the Nikon ZR will not be cheap. Early information suggests it could cost around $4,500. That puts it in the same range as other high-end video-focused cameras. Nikon is taking a big step forward with the ZR. This camera isn't just another mirrorless release, it's a signal that Nikon wants to be taken seriously in the world of professional video. With help from RED's technology, the Nikon ZR could be the camera that many video creators have been waiting for. It blends high-end video tools with Nikon's solid design and lens system, all in a package that's easier to carry and use than a full cinema rig. If everything goes as expected, the Nikon ZR could open a new chapter for Nikon and for filmmakers who want great video quality without going all in on traditional cinema gear. That's everything we know so far. Hit that subscribe button if you're excited and we'll see you next time.